And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to sing for you that world-famous song that's been performed by Lonnie Donegan. And the title of the song is Does Your Chewing Gum Lose Its Flavor? But first, here's a brief introduction to the music by a local member of our Philharmonic Orchestra. Hey, hey buddy, come on over here. We need you now. shall I do? Hallelujah, the question is peculiar. I'd give a lot of dough if only I could know the answer to my question. Is it yes or is it no? Oh, does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If your mother says, don't chew it, do you swallow it in spite? And you catch it on your tonsils, and you heave it left to right. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost overnight? Here comes the blushing bride. The groom is at her side. Up to the altar, just as steady as Gibraltar. Why, the groom has got the ring, it's such a pretty thing, as he slips it on her finger, the choir begins to sing, oh, does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If your mother says don't chew it, do you swallow it in spite? And you catch it on your tonsils, and you heave it left to right. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost overnight? Now the nation is as one to send their only son up to the White House, the nation's only White House, to voice their discontent. Unto the president, they pawn the burning question that has swept this continent. Oh, does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? If your mother says, don't chew it, do you swallow it in spite? And you catch it on your tonsils and you heave it left to right. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost overnight? On the bedpost!